Hey everybody, it's Kelly here from Kelly Tassie Fine Art. Graphics Paper sent me a bunch of different types of paper. There we go. I am testing them out for you so you can see what they're going to do and I'll share my thoughts on them. So stick around. Hey there and welcome, it's Kelly here. So today we're gonna try out four different types of paper from Graphics. They were very kind to send it to me to um, just do a quick review. And the first one we're gonna try out is the Dular, Dura Lar, D-U-R-A-L-A-R, um, archival polyester film. Now this is supposed to be used for drawing, drafting, mixed media. It is a two-sided matte film and it's 0 0.005. It looks like there's 25 sheets that comes in and the size is a nine by 12. So this paper is supposed to accept inks. It's for lead and color pencils. It erases really easy. And I guess you can cut it as well. So for projects. So you can see I'm using it here with some glue. I've just sketched out or I guess, uh, lettered out, however you say it, wrote out with glue, uh, the words, and I'm just adding some salt right on top of the wet glue. So you could try like the Elmer's glue in the white. It, it could work just as easy. The, the clear glue seems to be a little bit more liquefied than the, than the heavier white glue, but it could just be me today. So I put some heavy coarse sea salt on top of it while it was wet. And then I went right in with the alcohol inks. I'm using some T-Rex inks with those beautiful fallish colors, the orange and yellows. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the Shiraz red here in a second. And just dropping in, you gotta be careful though, because if you use too much of the ink, it will disperse outside the salt area. So just be careful. You can clean it up though, because this paper actually, um, you can remove the ink a little bit, it erases. Not as well as the next one I'm going to show you, or maybe not next, but we're going to be trying the Dura Bright in the white, and that one actually is non-staining, so that one um, works even better for this this type. So this was the first time I've been trying it. So I went ahead and just put that on there, and I found out that actually once it dried, it was on there pretty good as glue, but because it's plastic, you could actually, I could peel that letter right off. I could peel them all off, and I could actually take that somewhere use some other glue and stick it someplace else if I wanted to. So I thought that was really cool. Then I tried the same paper again and I went ahead and did some masking fluid on here. I used my brush and some Windsor Newton masking fluid and let that dry. And then I went in with those same colors, but I added a little bit of snow cap and you'll see me here. I'm using my little, um, air tool. This is basically the tool that you would use for cleaning your camera. And so it's got a nice little puffiness of air that it sends out. And I'm using some 91% alcohol and just blowing that all over the place here. So it almost reminds me of like fall leaves, beautiful colors together. So I'm just trying out the fall colors for this. And then you can add a little bit more of the alcohol if you want it to blend a little bit more. So I'm going to start out this time with just the alcohol. I did find that the snow cap doesn't move as well if you don't have the alcohol down below first tends to, you can see it's more circular in the yellow. So I figured that out along the way, but this works really well with this stuff. It's um, sort of translucent. So I'm thinking I can put this either behind different colored cardstock if I wanted to in a frame, or I could have it more translucent if you wanted to hang it up. You could even punch two little holes in the top of it here and hang it as like a little, a little sign for your wall if you wanted to for the holidays it's so it's very versatile so just starting out with this stuff there's lots of things to do <laughs> so um, i'll be sharing some more things on my instagram account as i work with it i do have a couple of uh, pumpkin paintings that i'm looking at doing as well and i'll probably use some of the paper with that all right so i let that sit for about 15 20 minutes just to make sure that alcohol ink is completely dry and Plus when you add the mixatives to those, sometimes they take a little bit longer, they get a little bit thicker. You have a little bit more ink. So the more ink you have, the longer it takes to dry. So just make sure if you're trying to rub off your masking fluid and you're getting a little color in there, 
you're probably not fully dry yet. So now I'm just going to peel off that masking fluid. I use Winsor & Newton masking fluid, but you can pretty much use any brand. I love this stuff and it works really well on this graphics paper because, like I said, it's more of that plasticky material. So it peels right off really nicely. Look how pretty that is. So you could stick that again in a frame. You could put a different color background on there if you wanted to. And I thought, well, let's go ahead and just make that pop a little bit more because it looks a little hard to see there what the yellow is. So I started out with a black Sharpie, but it just, um, I decided I wanted to do the white instead and the black Sharpie was not working really well. So I grabbed my white Posca pen and I just outlined all of the lettering. Now I am not much of a letterer and I'll have to say writing this with glue or with the masking fluid worked much easier for me. I think it's because it poured out a little bit thicker and it was just easier to just slowly write it. Whereas usually when I'm writing, I write quick. Sometimes you can't even read my writing. So this worked really well for me. And I figured I'd highlight a little bit around the edges of the, of the leaf as well. That one side, I probably could put a little bit more ink down on there. You can barely see it. And there we have it. How cute would this be? And a little mat. Let's go ahead and put one in there just so we can see what it looks like. And again, if you wanted to change out the colors in the background, this would be great. You could also do this for, you know, for the holidays, really any holiday all through the year and just swap that out. It makes it a really fast and easy way just to introduce a new season. They also sent some Durabrite in black. Now I do want to say these are non-staining, they're heat tolerant, heavyweight, non-absorbent, similar to some other papers that we know. And this is a nine by 12 inch. So I did the same process on this uh, as I did on the first one with the glue and the salt and then added the color again on top. And this time I went ahead and I did what I did in the fall with the background here. And this was the finished piece once I added the air to it. Isn't that pretty? That looks like spooky, I think. <laughs> and then they also sent, oh my goodness, some Duralar. And this is actually um, film, clear film. And again, if it's for permanent inks, it's heat resistant, it's archival, and it really cuts cleanly, which is kind of neat. I haven't done that yet, but you could probably cut the words, cut things out and utilize it this way. But I thought I would just go ahead and use a gold paint pen, this pen by Krylon, shake it up really well. And then we'll just write the word, let's see, well, I could stick with the falls, but let's just write the word welcome. Something that you could use all year long. You could use the white Posca pens for this. You could use chalk pens. There's lots of things that you could use to, to write your lettering on. Or how, how cute would this be to have like a gold pumpkin drawn out and then placing that over a really cool alcohol ink background. So there, I mean, there's just so many ideas floating in my head. You could use this on pretty much anything. But again, in a frame, how cute is that to change out your message for your house outside? Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll put this aside, let that gold pen dry. And if you have another, this is another background, look how pretty that is over like a welcome to the lake house kind of thing. I could have added that in there. Or let's go ahead and try some of the Dura Bright that they sent me in the white. Now this is very thick and again, it's heat resistant. It is um, heavy duty, non-staining and that's great stuff. It's nice and heavy, I like it. And supposedly this one wipes off pretty easy too. So I'm just going to throw some T-Rex alcohol inks in here again. Some of the same colors, the yellows, the reds, and the orange. Just letting them maneuver around, doing their thing on the paper. And then I think I'm going to grab a little bit of alcohol. So my inks are wet underneath. So let's just show you what happens if you spritz the alcohol on here while the alcohol ink is still wet underneath. You're like thinking, ooh, make some beautiful little circles. And now they're all going to close up <laughs> because it's still wet. You get a little bit of a remnant of something was there, a little texture, but you don't get all those beautiful little circles in there. I'm also testing the heat gun on the corner there. You might have noticed and it didn't do anything, which is really good. I had it pretty close there. I don't want to hold it for too long. I think it started to want to warp, but it's pretty heat tolerant compared to Yupo paper. So now I'm going back in now that that's dry and adding the alcohol. 
just the 91% alcohol on top, just creating some really pretty texture in here, little circles, little bubbles. And then I'm going to take a piece of that clear film that we wrote welcome on with the gold pen and I could put it on top. How cute is that? So you could stick that in a frame and just put it out there during the fall or, you know, create one for the holidays, for Christmas, just lots of different options. And then I want to show you here, I'm taking some alcohol and I want to show you how this actually really does wipe off. It's pretty non-staining, <laughs> which is pretty amazing. I've been using Yupo paper for quite a few years now and it always did stain with the alcohol inks. But this stuff is actually coming off. So I've added the alcohol. Look at that. Wipe it off. I've got a little bit of staining in there. So I'm going to try adding more alcohol. And voila, that is like magic. It wipes it right off to white paper. Of course, I hit the edge there <laughs> and started spreading some more of the other stuff. But uh, if I just do some clean alcohol and a clean piece of paper towel, I bet I can get the rest of that off. So it's got a little bit of orange there. Let's try it one more time. A little bit more alcohol on my tissue. Yeah, that is going back to white. That is, that's awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. So no longer do you have to worry if you've made a mistake with your alcohol inks, you can wipe that right off, almost like you would with a tile and go back to uh, blank white paper. So for next week, you can look for a new tutorial that's coming up on my black cat and pumpkin just in time for Halloween. And if you are not familiar yet with the Alcohol Ink art community, we do have our holiday workshop coming up and this beautiful little rendition of a winter forest is what I'm going to be presenting. So uh, if you want some more information, you can click on the details in the description box below and you can check out the conference. I think there's 12, 12 of us that are going to be um, sharing some demos. So some really fun things coming up for the holidays. So I hope that you found that helpful. Graphics Paper was very kind to send those to me. Uh, they do not have the black out on the market just yet. They have something very similar on Joggles right now that you can get, and I'll give you the link down below, but it's called Craft Paper Plastic, and I think it's a 12 by 12. These are all nine by 12 sizes. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more reviews of different products, let me know. I've got, I'm always buying something on Amazon. So I love to share my results with you guys. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.